My name is Jeff Chamberlain. I'm the owner of Liquid Kicks, and I want to welcome you to LK Studios. We're going to be putting out a ton of content this year. 2020 is going to be a riot. We got cool product demos, stuff we're not paid to promote. We just choose to promote it, good stuff. And then also a lot of tips and tricks and in-depth how-tos from beginner to absolute master stuff. So you're going to learn a lot. I really hope that you could take a second to like and subscribe and follow us on Instagram and Facebook. So we were recently out at SEMA, which is a cool event out in Las Vegas. About 3 million people show up each year. It's about custom culture, custom aftermarket parts. All the companies get together. Uh, it's like a trade show. We were there to demo some of our art for a few companies and help promote those companies. We found out last minute that we weren't gonna be able to have access to a compressor. So I got on SprayGunner.com and grabbed these two. I wasn't sure which one I was gonna like, so I grabbed them both. We didn't know what we were walking into, so I just wanted to be prepared. I have a little one that plugs into the wall and then another one that has battery. They both performed amazing and I'm just in love with them. Now we use a large compressor for our studio here, but whenever I travel, I take those with us. So without further ado, I'm gonna jump in and show you these. All right, so this is the Skyline. Uh, Skyline is a single piston, it's pretty quiet. I'll let you listen to it here. Yeah, yeah. Kick on pretty quick here. It's got a small tank inside, so it, it doesn't really have a lot of uh, pulsing to it, which is nice when it's kicked off. Very quiet. It runs right around 40 psi at the max, and that's running pressure. So you can see on the dial, you know, right now it's at 50. But as soon as you let the air out, it'll come down and then kick on, and it'll come up to about 40. That's the max. show you how it performs. I like to let the pressure drop happen and let it come back up and stabilize before I start spraying. That way I'm at a constant pressure. You get the idea. <laughs> now, for this other little guy here, we actually have to take out your air valve. So you want to obviously not hook everything. That'd be a good idea. Just unscrew your air valve. Screw this thing right in. It's got settings so you can change the pressure. So that's a very low, it's, I would say it feels about 10 psi. That feels like probably about 15 to 20, somewhere in there. And then the high setting, which I'm pretty sure is about 30. I like high pressure, that's just the way I am, so. Let's give it a go at the high end here. Give it a nice clean space. It doesn't really have any uh, serious pulsing. This is pretty good. I like a little bit higher pressure, but for just a quick demonstration, 
or if you're you know on the go constantly, you just want to whip out your airbrush and do some painting, this thing will make it happen for sure. Try the low, so I don't really mess with low pressure, but. Obviously with low pressure you get a little less overspray. You know, sharper line. So that's pretty nice for that. If you go to springer.com you can check out all their compressors. Um, they're a really good price, and let them know we sent you.